Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm actually gonna show you after you are done configuring VLANs, how you can validate the VLAN uh, configurations uh, using Cisco iOS show commands. So again, this is the Cisco packet tracer I'm using, a network uh, simulation uh, software. Uh, and I'm like down uh, at the bottom, bottom, uh, bottom left. Down here, you can see like there's a switches option. I just kind of like uh, threw a, a Cisco Catalyst 2960 switch here. And uh, if you just click on it, so like I said in this video, we're uh, gonna be seeing. Uh, how to validate VLAN configuration after we're done configuring, configuring them. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Cough is still ongoing. So excuse me for that. So, so a few of the commands that you can use to validate your uh, VLAN configuration. Uh, first of all, make sure that you are in the executive configuration mode. How you can tell that is by looking at this uh, number sign which is kind of like similar to the uh, root privileges that you will see when you are using Linux or you get to the uh, executive uh, privilege executive mode is the enable command enable command <coughs> so let's get to the point so here, the first command I'm going to show you is Okay, yeah, so the first command I'm going to show is show VLAN I'm going to hit enter So this is the first command So this will show you right here the VLAN column, the name status ports on a switch and these this is the default vlan all the ports say you just bought a brand new switch so all the ports on that switch will be member of the vlan one the default vlan and then on this particular switch i configured vlan 10 uh, that's the vlan id and then we have a name under the name column demo 10 and the ports I assigned to the VLAN 10 are the you know, fast Ethernet 1, 2, 3. So, all, <coughs> excuse me, all these ports they are member of the VLAN 10. They won't be able to talk with the, uh, the ports which are member of the VLAN 20, uh, which for which if we want to have the inter VLAN communication, we will have to use the layer three switch or the router. Okay, so that's the VLAN 30 is the third one. Demo uh, three is the name and then the ports assigned are seven, eight, nine and uh, 10. And you would notice that these ports which have been assigned to the VLANs, they are no longer showing up here. <coughs> because they're not part of the default VLAN anymore. Okay, so that's the first command was show VLAN. And the first command is show VLAN. Okay, so this will kind of give you more details. Uh, this right here is not, is outside of the scope of this video. Okay, so we are just concerned with this part right here. Okay. So let's uh, see the uh, second command would be the show VLAN brief. This is the command that I like personally because it will uh, skip uh, all this part that is of low concern usually. So show VLAN brief when you run, it's basically going to show you just the top portion uh, and then it will show you the 
VLANs configured and what ports are assigned to those VLANs. So you'll see the name VLAN column, name column, status, ports, and there they are. Okay. <coughs> Let's move on again. So the second command is show VLAN brief. Let's move on to the third command. Third command will be show VLAN. And then you say ID and then let's use this ID VLAN 10. So 10 here. And this is the command that if you know the ID of the VLAN, you can just like directly target that VLAN configuration. And you can see the VLAN name is the ID is 10, name is demo 10, status is active, the ports assigned are so that way you, you don't have to worry about like seeing the information of the other VLANs that you're not interested in seeing so again you would type show vlan id and then this time let's use the id number 20 and this time you will see the vlan 20 information and the ports assigned are right here okay so the fourth command would be show it's kind of like the same as the vlan id but instead of using the id this time we will be using them name of the vlan show vlan name and then the vlan name would uh, let's use demo 10. so here you'll see all the configuration related to vlan name demo 10. again if you run this command on demo 20 you'll see all the details of vlan name demo 30 and same we can do for demo 30 and here you will see all the vlan configuration for vlan named demo 30 these are the ports assigned to it there is another command the fifth one show vlan summary it's not going to work on this particular model of the switch i believe it it's available on some other switches, high-end switches. This is just like a, the switch that I'm using is like not even supported by Cisco anymore. But it's like mainly used in the simulation environment, you know, for learning purposes. Uh, what's the command? Show version, I guess. Is the command? Yeah, you can, yeah, I'm using the, yeah, this is a Catalyst, C for Catalyst, 2960, 24 ports. Here, this is the switch I'm using <coughs> in the simulation. Okay, uh, I would say thank you for watching. I hope this video will be informative for you guys. And if you think it is, please like, comment, share about this video. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. Stay safe.